What's up guys and welcome to Electrician Simulator First Shock. That's right, baby. I'm actually really excited about this. These random little Steam games always end up being the best. And uh, I mean, being an electrician is kind of fun. You know, the trades are great. You can make some really good money. You can solve problems for people. Being an electrician actually runs in my family. My uncle was one. My grandfather was one. I know absolutely nothing about it. I, I, I can't even change an outlet. I, I've never even tried. So this should be interesting. I'm excited to learn something. You know, I, I don't think I'm going to be messing with electricity anytime soon because it's very dangerous. But, um, you know, we can do it virtually. So we're just going to hop right into this. Let's see what this game is all about, dude. Hi, son. Thank you for coming. I see you're ready to start your journey as a real electrician, huh? For now, I need some help with some small tasks in our regular customers' houses. Oh, you need an introduction first. Sounds good. So we've got, uh, looks like objectives, tasks, and jobs up in the top left. Help me with selling all this garbage. As a reward, you can keep the change. I've got a compass up top. Find all the important objects there. For now, it's going to be all of those sellable items. Top right. Looks like we've got time, reputation, and money. Uh, $200 pocket money. I'm in a good mood today. I have the coolest dad. Each task you finish will give you extra money and reputation. One day you're going to become a reputable electrician. Just like your old man. Alright, so we are, uh, we're in the garage here and it looks like we just want to clean up. I don't know who's, who's paying this much money for a rake. Eight bucks for a rake. Eight bucks for a crate. I guess it's not bad. Shelf for seven dollars. That, that's where we really got to make the money, dad. Alright, so we're, we're going to go through here. Make sure we sell everything. We've got corrugated steel and stuff. Looks like we've got some more stuff over here. Planks, some crates on the ground. Can't sell that. This you want to sell the snow shovel? Looks like it's not the right the right temperature for snow. Sell some wheels on the side. All right. Great, our garage is clean. Well, at least cleaner than before. Now go to my laptop and accept a job. You're gonna need a password, of course. But where have I put it? Gonna go to the laptop. Looks like the password is right here. Note with the password. Sometimes you need to press, you can also hold to go into inspection mode. Password is on the back. So we should, one, two, three, four. Nice, dad. Yeah, good, good job. You're really, you know, it didn't work. One, two, hold on. One, two, three, four. One, three, two, four. Oh my goodness. Okay, you are tricky. That That's a dad joke right there. So the inbox is where we're going to have all of our messages show up. You can also go to the shop to find supplies, tools, cables, and everything else. Sweet. Okay, so it looks like our first one. Ale Al Alessander Castillo is darkness in the bathroom. Five minutes, 120 bucks, 150 XP. Wanted to turn on the bathroom light and it didn't work. I'm an old man. It's really difficult to take a bath in the dark. Up the repair and the light switch will not be a big problem. I'm not a rich man. I can't offer much for the job, but I hope you'll help me anyway. Sweet. Okay. Gonna accept our first job. And uh, what are we gonna do? Hop in the truck? Take the items needed. How do we know what items are needed? I'm gonna turn the fuse off, fix the light switch, check if the light switch is working. I'm gonna imagine we just need a... Oh, oh, it says it there. Suggested items. I was gonna say, we just need a screwdriver. Okay. Well, do we have to buy it? Let me buy it. Out of my cart. Buy. Yes. So this is going to be cool. We're going to be able to build out our, our tool chest as we go. That's nice. I like that. All right. Let's head to the job. This is kind of sick, dude. I'm excited. This is going to be fun. This is just the prologue, though. Like, the, the full game's not out yet. That's how these Steam games always go. Your first mission. Here you go. Every time you come to a customer's house, you can take a quick look, but go to the fuse box, the most important thing in every electrician job. Okay, so we're going to have to find the fuse box. I'm imagining that's probably going to be... In the garage, there's the bathroom. That's closed, that's closed. Where's the fuse box at? Maybe out here, door's closed. Oh, here's the fuse box. Okay, remember, every time you work with electrical stuff, turn off the fuse or kill the power first. Maybe hard to find the right fuse, but you could always turn off the main fuse placed in the front. It's very important that you don't want to be electrocuted. Okay, so, is it labeled? Fuse one, fuse two. And we could go through and try to, you know, find the one for the bathroom but let's just turn turn the main one off we're gonna come here in the bathroom uh, light switch over here okay is it this one lets us inspect okay it must be this one 
Fix the light switch tutorial. Click on the different light switch parts to take them apart. You can rotate the camera, zoom in and out. So we're going to disable this thing. And here comes the tricky part, the wires. For now, we will help you with connecting them to the right spots. Just look for the lightning and the, the light icons to phase the corresponding slots. If everything's connected accordingly, you should be able to switch the light. Okay. So we're going to take this off. Take that off. Take these screws off. Take the frame off. Take that out. And now we're going to want to bring this. We zoom in. Move the screw first. Okay. So we're going to take this and put it there. And take this and put it. Oh, we got to remove the screws first. My bad. Take these out. Put this here. Put that back. Beautiful. Now we can throw that back. Throw that back. Put these screws back in. Put that there. And I think we should be good. Let's go hit this main fuse here. Turn it back on. And voila. It works. Not a very bright light, but it's on. It's off. It's on. Beautiful. Okay. Go to the door to exit the location. And my man, that's how you make 120 bucks. It's just two wires. Your boy could do that. Turn the fuse off. Got some XP. Fix the light switch. Got some XP. Checked if it was working. Got some XP. Did it in a minute and 51 seconds. Got some bonus XP. Beautiful. All right. That's our first one down. Let's see what we've got going on next. Good morning. I'm new in this town. I haven't even had a chance to unpack yet, but there's already one thing bothering me. There's lots of outlets in my new house, but many of them aren't working. I can't watch TV and I can't turn on the lamp in the bedroom. Guess I know why this house was so cheap. Well, we'll take a look at it for you. All we need is a screwdriver. Do we hold the screwdriver from the last one? Yeah, we're good. So we can we can just head on out of here and let's go get to job number two, baby. Okay, so we do have some that work, but not all. We've got to find the fuse box. He needed... The fuse box could be outside too. We're going to keep in mind... Oh, fuse box is here. So I'm going to flip that guy. All right. So we're going to fix the outlet, fix another outlet, and another outlet. Turn the TV on, turn the lamp on in the bedroom do we know okay so this outlet is is messed up we're gonna go into okay at first you may notice a couple of similarities between switches and outlets but uh they're a bit comparable in terms of dissembling them but the wire connection is way different moreover there are single outlets double outlets and many more to come wires and outlets seem to be more complex but this time it's really hard to make a mistake one more time just follow the icons notice the different types of wires line neutral protective earth it's your ground right after everything's connected accordingly, you should be able to connect the plug, turn on some electrical device. Okay, sweet. So let's open this guy up. Take the screw out, open that up, get the frame up, zoom in. Okay, we're gonna wanna take these three screws out. Beautiful. So we've got the L1, it's gonna go here. We've got the N, it's gonna go here. And we've got the PE, it's just gonna go here. I don't really, I guess the PE is to the prong thing here. I don't know how you tell the difference between the red and the blue. But it's holding our hand for now, so that's that's good. Put that on there, the screw, and then the plate, and we are good to go. So that's the first one. Looks like we've got another outlet over here. Go ahead and fix this guy up. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Get that guy back in there. Beautiful. So that's two. There's another out. Oh, I thought we were going to be going in there, but is it this? Uh, this double outlet right here? That's not it. We, we want to get in the bedroom. Key is needed. Did you leave a key on the thing for us? Ah, mysterious key. I'm sure that's going to work for this. Gonna be able to open that up, and this must be our double outlet that we're having problems with. So the double's going to be a little bit different. Ooh. Mark, you need a screwdriver. Oh, yeah. Bam. Take that off. Take this off. Oh, the double's actually the same. Take these out. This is going to be our PE. This is going to be our N. This is going to be our... Oh, it, it, was, it was a lot different, but it works. One, two, three. Bang, 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 bang. I love all these, dude. House Flipper and stuff. By the way, I think House Flipper might make a, a comeback here pretty soon. So we're going to... Uh, let's take this plug. Oop, not this one. Oh. Uh, I don't think we want these. I want this plug. We're going to plug this into that. We're going to take the TV. We're going to plug this into that. 
We come back over here. We're going to turn on our fuse. And we should be good to go. I hope. And turn this thing on. Nicely done. Come back over here. Bada bing, bada boom. Our job is done. Way to be, baby. Your boy is fast, efficient, and precise. Look at that. We got a, uh, a full full setup there. Two minutes and 51 seconds. That was pretty solid. Let's move on to job number three. Buttery in my controller. <laughs> you can't be eating chicken wings and stuff and playing video games. Hello, sir. Found this old console in my grandpa's house. I want to play it. The controller doesn't work. Can you help me? My dad told me that the buttery... Oh, the, the battery in the controller is wrong. Can you fix it, sir? I don't have money, so I can't give you anything. Please help. I want to play some games. I mean, it looks like we're going to make 60 bucks. Joey, I got you, dog. Uh, this is another type of job, a workbench mission. You did notice the small tools icon indicating the difference, didn't you? It is po uh, possible to accept tasks of different types at one moment. Go back to the garage and check, on, uh, check the workbench to check the accepted job. Okay. Where's the small tool icon? Oh, this? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. We'll, we'll take it. Let's get our workbench over here. All right. Finally got here, son. I'm so excited. Your first time at the workbench. It's a bit limited right now, but I wanted you to be able to work on only one device. I suggest you disassemble it first. It used to be your favorite way to play with toys after all, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I need a screwdriver upgrade for this. Here's a few bucks. Check the bottom of the screen and get the upgrade. Remember, your tools wear down, so try to use them wisely and plan everything as you do want to avoid extra costs. All right. So... I'm going to buy this upgrade for $210. Uh, no. Do I want this? No. Do I want this? Yes? I think. What is this, like a little Torx or something? Let me turn this thing around. I like that we have our little case over here to make sure that we're fixing it. Um, what do we do from here? Oh, we can take the, the front off. Ah... Okay. Now, which, which... I mean, are we just going to take all this off? I don't think we actually had to do all that. We, okay. So we're going to need a new battery. That's my boy. Just like that, you disassembled your first device on the left. You can see a list of parts. If they are good, you are good. If they are bad, you have to fix or replace them. When all the parts are good, you can assemble the device. Okay. Click assemble in the top left corner or press tab. After everything is fixed, you can test it. So it looks like we're all good apart from the battery. So we're going to go ahead and replace this part for $15. And now we're going to be good to assemble. So let's go back to assemble. We're going to put our board down. We're going to put our buttons down. We're going to put our power plug. We're going to put our battery. We're going to plug that in. Um, I mean, we got to put the outside on. That case is good. We got to put the front case. How do I put the front case on? Oh, we got to put the buttons on first. My bad. Front case. Beautiful. I'm going to be able to put some screws back in. And I think she's good. Test the device. All right. Fun fact. I know I've talked about this before. I actually made a lot of money back in the day when I was like in high school modding controllers. Taking apart Xbox controllers, using a soldering iron, you know, doing the whole deal. I, I, would, I would buy a used controller for like 35 bucks, mod it, and like drill a hole in it, put a button in it, and then turn it into a rapid fire controller and um, sell it for like 150 at one point it was like 250 like it, it was it was crazy money especially for for me at that point so it was pretty cool all right 420 hi hi, hi year santana uh he, he's a plant lover D gonna make sure your your grow op goes well man i need you to help with something you see i'm a huge fan of plants i mean i love these green little fellows but i need to keep it low key try my best to take care of them but my grow light stopped working I think somebody might have messed with the cables. I need it fixed ASAP. I hope you can handle it. Remember, the plants are our little secret. He's paying us to keep us silent. So we're going to need some cable here. We don't have any. We're going to go ahead and add that. Did it say we needed 10? Hold on. I'm pretty sure it's... We need 10 cables. I'm going to add that. I think... I don't think we need this. And I think we need 10. We also got a second screwdriver, which we definitely didn't need, but that's that's okay. All right, so let's go help this dude out. We want to make sure everybody's, you know, good with green here. Here's uh, the last most challenging type of job. You'll have to learn how to use your newly acquired cables. Go down and look for the fuse box. You have to check if the environment is safe. Be careful out there, son. All right, so we do have... We've got a flashlight. Oh, shoot. 
Okay, no smoking. No. Nope. Secret passage. This is a little bit creepy. Okay. Fuse boxes like to play hide and seek, but as you can see, there's always a way to find them. However, sometimes we need an additional item to unlock them. Find a fuse box key. There's a key hidden in the plant. Ah. Okay, let's use our... How do I see my inventory? Fuse box key, I'm going to put this on two. Beautiful. Use the key. Unlock it. Connect the cables tutorial. The fuse box is now open. Pick your cables. Try to connect one of the fuses to the light switch in the wall next to you. Pay attention to the little icons. Make sure you connect the two uh, lightning bolts. Every time you work with electrical stuff, turn off the fuse first. You don't want to fry. Okay. So main's off. Fuse 11 is off. We're going to grab some cable. We're going to put it here. To here? Aren't you smart? Ain't you smart, boy? You managed to connect the light switch. Might sound obvious, but go check if it works. See, it's also a double switch, so it has two switches. Check the second one by pressing that button. You shouldn't leave anything unchecked. So we're going to have to turn these back on. Nice. Damn, son, those lights don't work as they should. Check the connection between them. You just see the cables that are currently connected. Place cable between that and that. Notice how the second icon changes depending on where you're connected the first. Half the job is actually checking things. You need to check everything to make sure it works. Okay, so we got one there. Um, we're going to turn this back off. We're going to flip both of these back. We're going to see... We need these on. Ah. So we need to connect these two here to be able to link it. Okay, that's, that's where it's messed up. So we're going to turn these off. We're going to grab our cable out to the end. Good job. Now all the lights are connected correctly, except for that one. That light needs power, but there's no free slots left. Let me show you something. You can see the icon, the light switch. When you start pressing the cable there, it will change to that. So we want to go to the bulb, the bulb icon on the switch. And we're going to bring it over here to this end. No. Ah. Okay, so you, you need to place different things on the ceilings. Look at them shine, boy. Awesome job. High five. No, well, uh, come on. I'll show you something else. Okay, let me, let me turn these boys back. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. My bad. At the end there. Okay, nice. We able to turn our flashlight off. And look at that. Our green boys are getting some light to them. I like it. Okay, so we had to put like a little junction box or something. I... I to be honest, I'm not sure. We're good, though. All right. We fixed it for him. Enjoy your uh, your business, dude. Uh, don't smoke all your profits away. See so we've got next. Uh, An Angel Bone. Hello there. I've heard from my friends that you're a beginning electrician. That's great. I got this carbon mon monoxy monoxide detector, which stopped working. I'm worried because I don't feel safe anymore while taking a bath. Could you please fix it for me? Screen's not displaying anything. Sensor's not detecting carbon monoxide. Good batteries are not working. All right. Nope. Well, uh, we'll go check that out for you, ma'am. Don't you worry. Where do I go? We go to the... Oh, it's a workbench thing. Okay. So, we're gonna have to disassemble this bad boy. Take some crews out. This is fun. Take some batteries out. We'll check the status of those. Uh, take the back plate off. We take this front plate off. Let me start taking all this stuff apart. It's kind of interesting that they have us literally disassemble everything. Like, we, we take literally everything out. And then we... You know, fix it later. Take those out. Get these. Get these. Take that out. Take that out. We're disassembled. Okay. So, battery socket. We're going to have to replace this. Screen plate. Uh, replace it or fix it? Look, son, you can replace broken elements in the part view. Or you can try to fix it. Make sure you use the proper tools to interact with small elements. Try to solder it by replacement element and solder it back. Sure, it's a piece of cake. So that's a solder. I don't know. We'll see. That's broken. So this is interesting. We're gonna desolder these parts, and now we're gonna be able to pick that up. This is broken as well. So we gotta take this off here. So rather than buying new, we're gonna be able to save some money and increase our profit margins here. Everything out. Oh, this is bad. 
This is broken, so we're gonna take this off. Beautiful. No, nope. you need tweezers, so we're gonna grab our tweezers and take that off. Everything else was uh, was working, correct? I believe so. Now we're gonna solder these guys back. New plug for two dollars. This part for ten dollars. So instead of paying three hundred dollars for a new one, we just fixed it for like thirty bucks in a couple moments of our time. So that is perfect. Part has been fixed. You can check its status on the bottom left. It's good now. Click the air to go back to the full item. This part's now fixed. Yeah, okay, sweet. Okay, so we're gonna be able to return to the full item. Now everything's good. The sensor's broken. Let me try to fix this. So we can, we can test everything. These are the things that are bad. So over here, we're gonna desolder that and take it off. Need some tweezers to be able to take it off. This one was bad. Take these off. Use our tweezers. And then this one was bad. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. Grab some tweezers. Take it off. And now we're going to be able to put all these back. And we're going to want to resolder out of it. Let's just be quick and, and smart here. Throw these. It was these four. And then where was the other one? These two? Beautiful. All right. It's back to good. So now we're, we're good to, to go back to a symbol. All right. So let's start putting this thing back. Put the sensors and such in. Put everything down. Put these parts on. Put those in. Start putting our screws back on. This is sick, dude. We're killing it. You guys remember what the next part was? Nothing on the front. Okay, I think we really need to go back in the same order as how we started and I, I, I think we skipped a step. Let me take these off. Is there s somewhere else? I feel like this was the last thing we took off. There's nothing we can put there now. So we could put these. Hmm. Obviously I have to put that on. We could put the screws in. I don't, I don't know what we're missing. Everything else, it doesn't let us do anything else. Oh. Ah, those two screws right there. Come on, man. Okay, that that was it. Just two small little screws. Put some double A's back in there. Put the, the thing back on. Are we done? We're at 87%. We've just got a couple of screws. Just completely fixed a carbon monoxide detector. Let's go, dude. Send the item off. $340 for that. That You could buy one of those on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Come on. That's crazy. Dude, this is sick. This is way more in-depth than I thought. We're taking apart electronics. We're fixing things. We're running new wires. We're, we're not just changing the wires on the back of an outlet. We're like actually getting deep into it. I'm enjoying this. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see some more from Electrician Simulator, we can definitely make that happen. Like I said, it is just the, the, the preview. It's the prologue. So the full game is going to come out at some point later on this year. But... Um, if you guys want to see maybe another episode or two, you might be able to check it out. So drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Electrician T-Mart. We'll see you later. I'm going to go put some uh, money in my 401k and my pension. And yeah, baby, your boy's going to be the richest electrician there ever was. We made a thousand bucks today. That's actually pretty solid. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.